Hey everybody, welcome to the Keto Mom page. My name is Stephanie and we are diving into the book that we're going through this month. We've been going through a book since April, April or May, and the point is to help you on your mindset as we dive into your day to give you something to think about to hopefully help you take action. So as you're tuning in, how is your morning? If you're reading the book with me, awesome. If you are just tuning in and listening, awesome. Um, we are part, part of the way through chapter two. So this book is going to take a little bit longer to get through, but all of the content and everything is great. So we're going to have to take our time. It's not a fast one. And so yesterday we started with chapter two. We figured, or we went through the first five questions on how to find your passion and your purpose. So we are on point number six, which we'll get to in just a second. But he first starts out with action. If you have not watched the other lives, just go back to the beginning of the month and just continue to watch them every single morning. And so whether it's about setting goals or going through a book, this is what we're doing. And then as you tune in for the rest of the day, you'll see different recipes, tips, and tricks. Uh, we're really talking about the core four right now because that is what most people are focused on is their goals, at least four steps, four days a week for four weeks. And so that is awesome. And then also we are talking about uh, whether it's tips and tricks, and then I give you a keto tip of the day in the afternoons. And so good morning, good morning, good morning. <laughs> All right, number one uh, in chapter two of the half part of this book, he talks about action. He said, you cannot win if you do not begin. The people who get ahead in the world are the ones who look for circumstances. They want circumstances that they want. If and if they can't find them, they make them. That means taking initiative. It doesn't, it, I'm so sorry. It means doing something specific every day that will take you into another step closer to your goal. It means continually to continuously doing it every single day. <laughs> uh, nearly all successes are the fruits of initiative. Taking action, which I feel like I say every single day. We're gonna take action. So few things prompt a person to follow through like accountability. So even with, the, even with this group, the Keto Mom page, I feel like it's a great accountability. You can send me messages, you can ask questions, you can post in any videos or comments. My husband's cleaning out the fireplace. We are going to start a fire because it is Minnesota and it's supposed to be negative 15 degrees here today. What is the temperature where you're at? Is anybody else experiencing the negatives? It is ridiculously cold. So we need to start a fire. All right. I mean, it's loud. So if you can hear it, I'm sorry. All right, here we go. Um... So he talks about number one, action. Number two, once you experience that, you are going to start attracting people when you take action. And you might be going, I need accountability. I'd love to have people join me. Where do I find people that want to do what I'm doing? Interesting, right? Great question. And here's what he says. If you become aware of the steps that you must take to do what you want to do, which is taking action, right? And become accountable for the things that you're going after, you are going to start producing a behavior. You're going to start going after your desires. You're going to start becoming the person that you want to be. Therefore, you are going to start attracting like-minded people. So if you're like, I want to find somebody that wants to go after goals and dreams and focus on their mindset, become that person. You are becoming, well, if you're going after goals and you're working on your mindset, you will find people like you eventually. So he says, the, the, a common saying that your mother may have said to you when you were younger, birds of a feather flock together. If you want to be around growing people, you have to become the growing person. Good thought for the day. All right. Number six, since we went through the first five yesterday, number six was, do you know people who do what they'd like to do? <clears throat> he says, the greatest growth has always come as a result of finding people ahead of me who were able to show me the way. It's finding a mentor. So any of the goals that you have decided that you want to go after this year, I would encourage you to find a mentor, find somebody who's already done it. Uh, have you guys ever heard the saying, if you want to walk through a minefield, how, do you know how that saying goes, babe? Follow the person that's already done it. Oh, your phone shut off. 
If you want to walk through a minefield, follow the person that's already done it. Basically, <laughs> you can save yourself a lot of time and effort and energy if you find people that have already done what you want to do and go learn from their mistakes, right? He says, here's what I want you to know. It's important to find a mentor, whether it's in person or if you cannot actually connect with some people that you want to, you can read their books. So he says there's some different things you can look for. If you're going to find a mentor, get, co get committed. Pay people for their time. Or you can listen to podcasts. Or you can, he says the next one is, get creative and read their books, listen to their podcasts, be purposeful. Spend hours preparing for the time before the time you're going to meet with that mentor. So make sure you have good questions, not just to get together, but in anything when you have a mentor, you need to have good questions and you need to have very specific outcome. You need an outcome. Always remember that you cannot get to where you want to go on your own. You will need the help of others to guide you on your way. Super important. All right, number seven, should you do what you'd like to do with them? And he basically says this, if you can find a mentor, know that you need to be willing to, fo to follow and be responsible. So possess a teachable spirit. You need to be leadable, teachable, coachable. Always be prepared for the time that you are with them. Set an agenda by asking good questions. Demonstrate how you've learned from them and then be accountable to what you've learned and take action. And you can do that with books and podcasts and people that you listen to online, which all of that is, most of that is free. Uh, the point is you need to be accountable to your actions. You need to take action. You need to set an agenda. You just need to be focused and aware, right? All right. Number eight, will you pay the price to do what you want to do? Mm, I underlined so much. Okay, so he said, I sh he had an incredible quote that he loved. It says, called Dream Big, and I'm going to read it to you. He said he used to put this up on his wall, and he would read it to himself every day. He says, if there were ever a time to dare to make a difference, to embark on something worth doing, it is now, not tomorrow, not for any grand cause necessarily, but for something that tugs at your heart, something that's your aspirations, something that's your dreams. You owe it to yourself to make your days here count. Have fun, dig deep, stretch, dream big. Know though that things worth doing seldom come easy. There will be good days and there will be bad days. There will be, there will be times when you want to turn around pack it up and call it quits. Those times tell you that you are pushing yourself and that you are not afraid to learn by trying. Taking the steps necessary to live your dreams and do what you want to do will cost you. You will have to work hard. You will have to make sacrifices. You will have to keep learning and growing and changing. And you, are you willing to pay the price? I certainly hope that you are, but know this, most people aren't. Are you willing to be the one percenters? Are you willing to go stick with your goals even after January? Even after the next couple weeks? Are you willing to go through the middle? Here's the main question. Are you willing to commit until you're finished? Most people don't. They give up. Uh, whether it's laziness, it's too hard, or they're so comfortable at where they're at that they might not be happy, but it's easier to stay in comfort than to stretch out into out of your comfort zone. Most of the accomplishments I've ever achieved in life began in attempts before I was ready. So then he really goes and dives into at the very end, like you're not going to be ready for it. Nobody ever get, nobody ever gets where they want to go by just waiting and getting ready. You only have to just begin. You have to start before you're ready. And then lastly, he says, when you do what you've always wanted to do, it would be better than you've ever imagined. So he's like, you've got to put in the work. You've got to find a mentor. You've got to listen to books, right? When will you get to do what you want to do? Or when will you get to your goals? Maybe your goal is fat loss. Maybe you've got goals in relationships or finances or your health and fitness or spiritually. When will you get to reap the fruits of your work? When will you get to see the harvest? after you take action, after you work. And he says, it feels incredible. It's incredible to get to where you want to go, but your learning and your personal growth should be an ever flowing target, not just a target that you reach and then quit. 
He said, when I started investing in my personal growth, I didn't anticipate the compound return for me personally, for the individuals I've, I've mentored and for my team. And I've never dreamed it would be this fun. Nothing else compares to doing what you want to do and create what you want to create or just become who you want to become. People say that there are two great days in a person's life, the day that they were born and the day that you discover why you were born and what you were meant to do. I want to encourage you to seek what you were put on this earth to do and then pursue it with all of your effort. What were you created to do? Some of you are like, goodness, this is deep. I came here to lose some fat. You will soon find out that I love I love coaching people and helping them get healthier. I can give you different tips and tricks on all of the food and everything else that goes along with it. But if you're not working on your mindset, and I say this every day, uh, the likelihood of you reaching your goals is unlikely. Or if you reach them, it's easy to fall back into old habits. So thank you for tuning in. I love going through books with you. I hope it's helping you in any way, shape, or form. Uh, Again, just scroll through the page for any keto tips or tricks that you're wanting. Tune in in the afternoons for some more accountability. And just know that if you have any questions, you can send me. Private message me and I'll get back to you. So I hope you have an incredible day. Stay warm. We are going to stay warm here as it is negative 15 degrees. It's going to be great. So I hope you have a great day. I appreciate you all. And we'll talk to you soon.